Granite, a stone as ancient as the earth itself. You've seen it on kitchen countertops, fancy floors, or majestic monuments. Its beauty, durability, and natural patterns have made it a favorite material for centuries. But have you ever wondered how a massive slab of rock from deep within the earth ends up as a shiny countertop in someone's kitchen? In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating journey of granite, how it's quarried, cut, and polished into the stunning surfaces we admire. From blasting massive boulders out of the ground to shaping them into sleek, gleaming masterpieces, the story of granite is one of nature's power and human ingenuity. Let's get started, right here on History of Simple Things. The journey begins in a granite quarry, often a vast, open landscape scarred with giant pits and terraced walls. Granite is an igneous rock formed from the slow crystallization of magma deep beneath the Earth's surface, and it's found in enormous underground formations called plutons. These formations can be hundreds of feet deep and stretch across vast areas. Quarrying granite isn't as simple as just digging it up. Because of its extreme hardness and density, special techniques are used to extract it in large, solid blocks. The process starts with identifying a good site, typically one where the granite shows consistent color, minimal faults, and good structural integrity. Geologists and engineers survey the rock to ensure it's suitable for commercial use. Once the site is approved, the real work begins. In the past, workers used explosives to blast granite from the earth. But modern techniques favor precision over brute force. Diamond wire saws, drills, and water jets are now commonly used to make clean cuts and minimize waste. Holes are drilled into the rock in a pattern, and diamond wire, which is a steel wire embedded with diamond particles, is threaded through the holes. When the wire is pulled through the stone at high speed, it acts like a saw and slices through the granite. This method allows for accurate extraction of massive blocks, often weighing 20 to 30 tons each. Once the block is separated, hydraulic jacks or airbags are used to lift and tilt it away from the quarry wall, where it can be safely transported. After being extracted, these gigantic blocks are transported, often via heavy-duty trucks, to a processing facility. Moving something that weighs more than several cars is no easy task. It involves cranes, flatbed trailers, and a team of skilled operators to ensure safety. Once the granite block reaches the processing plant, it's time for the next step, cutting it into usable slabs, this is where the stone begins its transformation from raw rock to refined material. The cutting process typically begins with a gang saw or a multi-blade saw. These are massive machines equipped with dozens of steel blades that slice through the granite like a giant bread slicer. Water is sprayed continuously to cool the blades and reduce dust because cutting granite generates extreme heat and fine particles that could damage the equipment and pose health risks. Depending on the desired thickness, the granite is cut into slabs typically ranging from two to three centimeters thick. It can take several hours to cut a single block into slabs, depending on the size and density of the stone. For more intricate or high precision work, bridge saws or CNC machines are used. These machines are programmed with computer software to cut custom shapes or sizes with pinpoint accuracy. For example, if a customer wants a countertop with a unique curve or edge design, CNC routers make that possible. The cut slabs are then labeled and moved on to the next critical phase, polishing. Polishing is what gives granite its glossy, mirror-like surface. Without this step, granite would look dull and rough, 
almost unrecognizable from the sleek finishes we see in homes and buildings. The slabs go through a polishing line, a series of rotating abrasive pads with varying grit sizes. The process starts with coarse grit to grind down surface imperfections and moves gradually to finer grits that bring out the stone's natural color and shine. Water is used throughout the process to keep the stone cool and carry away debris. There are several types of finishes that can be applied depending on the intended use. A polished finish is the most common, producing a smooth, reflective surface. For outdoor uses or a more subtle aesthetic, a honed or leathered finish might be preferred. Honed granite has a matte, flat appearance while leathered granite retains some texture and is slightly more tactile. Each finish requires different polishing techniques and abrasives to achieve the desired look and feel. Once polished, the granite is inspected for any defects, sealed to enhance stain resistance, and sometimes color enhanced to bring out deeper hues or patterns. This sealing process is crucial, especially for granite being used in kitchens and bathrooms, where exposure to moisture and spills is frequent. Sealants help maintain the stone's beauty and make it easier to clean over time. After finishing, the slabs are carefully packaged and shipped to distributors, fabricators, or directly to job sites for installation. Once the slabs arrive at their final destination, fabricators may do additional custom cutting and edging to fit the exact dimensions of a kitchen counter, vanity top, or flooring panel. Templates are often made to ensure a perfect fit, especially when working with irregular shapes or tight spaces. Edges are shaped using grinders and routers, and sink or faucet holes are cut using specialized drills. The installation itself involves heavy lifting, careful alignment, and strong adhesives to secure the slab in place. After installation, the granite is typically cleaned and sealed one final time. What started as a massive rock buried deep underground is now a gleaming functional surface, a testament to both natural beauty and human craftsmanship. And it's not just about aesthetics. Granite is also known for its resistance to heat, scratches, and stains, making it both a luxurious and practical material. So there you have it, the incredible journey of granite from the heart of the earth to the heart of your home. Quarrying, cutting, polishing, and installing granite involves a combination of ancient rock, modern tools, and skilled labor. It's a process that can take weeks or even months, but the results are stunning and can last a lifetime. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.